know how people usually start these things. Um, I'm doing a movie review. If you're watching this, then you want to hear my opinion on movies. I'm doing a movie review of Spotlight, the movie starring Michael Keaton, Rachel McAdams, Mark Ruffalo, John Slattery, Leif Schreiber, and others. There's a lot of freaking actors in this movie. A lot of people with speaking parts. I actually thought about that when I was in the theater. I was like, man, how many principal actors are in this movie? So many people have speaking parts. That's pretty cool. That's just where my mind goes in movies, I guess. I'll start by saying this movie is very well directed. It in no way feels small, but it in no way feels anything more than it is, you know? It's like one of those movies that you actually almost believe that it's real life, not a movie. So say, for example, when I was watching Steve Jobs, I'm like, wow, this is a great movie. But I never once really believed that it could be real life. Yeah, this movie just feels like like people that actually exist in the world, which is important because it's a true story, right? It feels like an important movie. Something that I found really cool is um, the main goal of all the characters in the story is to put a spotlight on what's happening with these pri with these priests and these children. That's also what the movie is. The movie is the main goal to, to get people talking about what happened, to get the story to be told. That's cool that the main goal of the characters and the main goal of the movie being made is the same. That's interesting. It doesn't happen a lot. The writing in the movie is nuanced and subtle and it's never hit you over the head with uh, with the issue of the movie like so many controversial movies do. It's like, look, we're talking about j domestic abuse or racism. We're talking about it. Here, eat it, audience. We're talking about it. We're being fearless. Well, yeah, Spotlight is too, but it's not annoying you with why you should relate to it. It's just having you relate to it, you know? It's not like the, the child molestation isn't there. It's obviously there. But you know, it's their job to, to write news not to be emotional for emotion's sake you know and they're emotional it's it's not like it's completely cold and out of touch there's nothing overly ambitious or technically brilliant in this movie the the sound design is okay it's it's serviceable it's there's no visual effects in the movie so if you're expecting a blockbuster go see jurassic world or something actually don't see that because no one should subject themselves to that there's nothing really ambitious to do with the filmmaking. The cinematography is okay, um, but the, the story the story is good, and that's what matters. I don't think you can really take off many points for for not being technically great. I guess this movie is kind of like the foil to Spectre. Spectre's technically brilliant movie, but really weak script and creatively just weird. But this movie, maybe not technically brilliant, but a great script, great acting, great directing. Oh, acting, that's what I need to talk about. Michael Keaton is brilliant in this movie. He's just, he's killing it. He's killing it lately. He's completely convincing. I just believe him. Every scene, the status that he has with different characters, it's great. And Mark Ruffalo is also brilliant in this movie. I think he's a standout. His physical work is breathtaking. Like this and Foxcatcher, you put him in any like medium to wide shot and he he's okay like you don't have to have close-ups on him ever because his body tells a story too i think both of them will be nominated for an oscar this year in the same category i think i'm on record saying that now so if i'm wrong then this is my face after being wrong sorry i enjoyed spotlight uh i saw it three three days ago so honestly i'm not really remembering it that well which doesn't really go to the movie's favor but Spotlight isn't a bad movie. I, I think it'll be one that I can remember fondly if, it, if I'm reminded of it. I'm going to predict some the Oscar nominations. Uh, Best Picture, definitely. These are just the nominations. Um, Best Supporting Actor, Ruffalo. Best Supporting Actor, Keaton. Uh, Best Original Screenplay, Best Director, without a doubt. And probably Film Editing, too. So six nominations. If, if everything I say is true, which it isn't, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Six nominations. Six Academy Award nominations. In the end, I'm going to give Spotlight an 8 out of 10. Because it's really good, but I don't feel like it's outstanding or memorable in a lot of ways. I guess if you watch this all the way through, then that means you like my opinions, you, or, or you like 
to talk about movies, which I do too, hence why <laughs> I'm here talking about a movie to my phone. If you saw Spotlight, uh, you can comment. If you saw any movie, you can comment. If you want to comment, you can comment. If you have something to say, comment. If you had like a really interesting lunch, comment. If you've seen this video at all, cool. If you like what's going on, you can subscribe or like the video. Talk about movies to your friends, because I think movies are great. I love movies. Go see Spotlight at a theater near to you, because it's worth watching once. <laughs>